Starship gets itself together, Star Shield goes to the Space Force, Falcon Heavy is on the horizon, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Booster 9 got its crown back on Tuesday. As reported last week, the hot staging ring was removed for unspecified reasons. However, what we do know is that since it was removed, work was done around that area of the booster. The day after it was reinstalled, Starship 25 was lifted and remated with B-9, and thus begins the long wait for the FAA and Fish and Wildlife Service to greenlight the launch for some time between October and the end of the year. When that day arrives, SpaceX will need to briefly separate the two halves again to arm the flight termination system. On Tuesday, S-27 was also stress tested with some cryo up the road at Massey's. Then this morning, the S-24.2 test tank made its way out there as well. Elon will be attending this year's International Astronautical Congress next week on Thursday, October 5th, no doubt to talk Starship and how we can create a more exciting future. He's attended a few of these in the past to talk about colonizing Mars. On Saturday night and Monday morning, left and right side of your screens respectively, Falcon flights carrying 22 and 21 Starlink satellites were launched to orbit from the east then west coast. SpaceX tweeting the latter flock hosting next-gen optical space lasers. Pew pew. It was the record-tying 17th mission for the first stage on the left and sixth mission for the booster on the right, both landing on their respective drone ships. The U.S. Space Force has awarded SpaceX with a one-year contract for Starshield, a dedicated military version of Starlink, the contract being worth $70 million. Elon commenting on X, Starlink needs to be a civilian network, not a participant to combat. Starshield will be owned, not by Ukraine, but by the U.S. government, and controlled, not by Ukraine, but by the DoD Space Force. This is the way. Coming up next week is a possible Falcon Heavy mission, Psyche, another mission to an asteroid, slated for a Thursday morning. But meow, it's time for today's honorable mention. So speaking of asteroids, feels like it's been years since Osiris Rex was an honorable mention. Probably because it has been years. After launching from Earth on September 8th of 2016, rendezvousing with the asteroid Bennu on December 3rd, 2018, orbiting it for two years, then boinking it like mosquito on October 20th, 2020, to collect surface samples, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft began its nearly three-year trip back to Earth to which it arrived this week on Sunday, ejecting the sample return capsule upon its approach, which created skin marks in the sky before popping shoot to set her down in a government training range outside Salt Lake City. It could hold the clues to how everything around us came to be from the formation of the planets to origins of life. NASA may have boasted in their ability to stream this in 4K, but still failed to capture shoot deployment. Way to ruin the mission. I'd expect nothing less from a bunch of pagans. The following day, Oompa Loompas opened her up and discovered space dirt. Congratulations, dirt worshippers. Huzzah, then. And that's it for this week. Have a nominal weekend. Until next Friday, Godspeed. <laughs>